this is Guy Sebastian hanging out here on Idolater. Like a Drum was released in Australia just recently and, and I guess it's nice having um, the ability to, to sort of test how something is going to go before I release it here in the US and um, I was very lucky it's, it's now clicked over triple platinum back home and um, so I guess I, I'm, I'm excited you know, not, uh, not that that means anything over here, I'm starting from scratch and, and I'm kind of a new artist. I, I can't measure. I guess it's a, a little bit of a different sound um, from what people who have been following my music for a while are, are used to. I guess it's a little bit mixed with dance and I haven't done a whole lot of sort of straight EDM dance. And uh, um, But I guess whatever I sing I can't help but ha you know, have it influenced by a bit of soul. Grew up listening to a lot of stuff like Bill Withers and, and Sam Cooke and all that, you know, just the, the I guess the things that taught me how to sing and things that taught me how to love music and um, that's the kind of feel I was going for. Right now I'm in production stage where I've got a bunch of songs and I'm like well really uh, most of them I've just written on an instrument whether it be piano or guitar and now I want to really get creative with it on an electronic level to sort of um, beef it up and, and just have that, that great clash of worlds from organic you know meeting electronica so I'm, I'm super excited we've just started in the studio and um, yeah it's definitely coming along I remember writing with Chris a couple of years ago and it, it wasn't like the what I brought to the party was really lame like I just had a lame day and and I wrote this stupid song I, I think it was like called maniac or something it was basically about just when I look at the lyrics now, it's kind of like I wanted to write something sexy where this dude's a, like, he's kind of a, writing about this girl who's a maniac, kind of like. A, but then when I read it now, it, I kind of wrote the song and made her sound like a sexual deviant. So it was, wasn't a great session, is what I'm trying to say. But then fast forward a couple of years and I'm like, oh dude, it's great to be in the studio again with you. And, and uh, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, I wrote a really crap song. He thinks I'm a terrible songwriter. <laughs> and, but then um, he started playing the track and bleh, you know, the song just kind of came out really quickly. And um, that was that, you know, it's, that's the beauty of music. I guess I'm a new artist over here in, in the States, but it, you know, from my, my homeland, I've done music for like a decade. And so I've, I've recorded, I think about seven albums, you know, I've been lucky enough to have six number ones or seven number ones. And um, just, you know, like I've been doing it for a long time. So there's always that temptation. Should I, you know, kind of go back in my catalog and get some songs that might work for this album? But I, I just, I've resisted that temptation just for my own creative sanity you know like I've done those songs I've sung them I've toured them I've told stories about them on the road and they're kind of buried a little bit for me you know I think I'll do a version of Battle Scars like um, I recorded a little acoustic um, version on, on, on piano and, and um, maybe I'll put that version on the album because I, I guess there's a lot of people that um, know the song Battle Scars um, with, with Lupe Fiasco and, and but not don't necessarily associate me with, with that song and, and uh, you know I was very lucky to, to have that song with Lupe you know it, it, it um, uh, we released it in Australia I, I, I wrote it and in my mind as I was writing the song I was like Lupe would be perfect for this track but it's you know, everybody thinks that. Like I wrote a song yesterday, I was like, Beyonce would be perfect for this track. It doesn't mean she's going to jump on it tomorrow. So I was like, hopeful that Lupe was, would do the song, but didn't expect him to say yes. I think coming over here and trying to get my music going, it, it's a very humbling challenge. You know, like it, it's in, in Australia, I've been doing it for a little while and I've built 
my career up to a certain level and I'm used to a certain way of like touring and playing in front of certain size crowds and that whole thing and then I've got to come here and and uh, and I and I'm happy to play like a room of 10 people and and it's it's weird I thought that I, I would kind of be a little bit like affected by it but I think I just love playing like I love I love playing music whether it be at like a relative's house or something you know where they're like guy oh, can you sing something on the piano or whatever like I just I, I love music so whether it's to 10 people or 10,000 I'm kind of um, I'm up for the challenge and, and for me I, I've been doing it for a little while in Australia so I'm like I need a new challenge I, I you know I yeah I'll play to three people.